and welcome to this channel. This is the Eradicator, and in today's video, we are not going to talk about the latest PTU patch, which is the M patch, simply because every single time I'm trying to get into the game, I get a client crash. So obviously, that is really not good for testing. I guess I'll be testing uh, Star Marine because that's the only thing that works. But every time I get in the PU, it doesn't work. So. Uh, that's all right. I got some old footage from the previous patch I wanted to show. It's not really about PDU testing. It's more about fun gameplay, something that I've tried and actually it's quite hilarious. So I hope you're going to enjoy this footage, guys. Uh, before that, I got a message for you. Hello, this is the Eradicator, and this month we have a giveaway. I'm giving away an Ursa Rover Stella Fortuna, and all you need to do to get a chance of winning is to make sure to subscribe to this channel, drop a comment to any of the videos, and maybe uh, you'll get the lucky winner and look at this green little friend how gorgeous it is it is going to be perfect for your planet side delivery missions or just uh, chilling out you know on any of the planetary surfaces that we have right now in star citizen so there will be a lucky draw by the uh, end of uh, april actually early may it's going to be on friday may 3rd at 2 p.m beijing time so no doubt down it's going to be exactly the same as last time i will first draw the winning video and if you posted a comment uh during you know in that uh video then if you are a subscriber then you will be uh entering the final lucky draw so that's how we're going to proceed guys i will put the uh the video of the last lucky draw in the description so you're gonna see exactly how we do this it's all real it's not fake it's not made by a machine and we're all together chilling and having fun so that's what we're going to do again uh this month so everybody good luck and i'll see you guys in the verse all right, so we have just rammed here the back of the Starfire. This is actually an NPC Starfire that I found above... I think we were above ceiling, if I'm correct. And for some reason, it was there. I don't know why, but I guess it was cool. And it was wanted, so I decided to attack it. Since it's a wanted ship, I'm the Eradicator. I am attacking criminals. This is what I do. I am keeping the verse sir, uh, safe. <laughs> I am keeping the verse safe for all of you out there. And I don't know why. A wanted NPC Starfire. That's fun. So, let's try. Is the back door still open? I want to make sure that I have my guns available. Uh, because well, probably we're gonna have to fight. Maybe if there are some, if there's some NPC crew inside. Let's see weapons. I got my arc like pistol. I think we should be good to go. Yeah, we should be good to go. All right. So, but the big question is: the back door going to open? It does. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So let's look and see if there are some NPCs out there. I know that they have at least two gunners because when I was attacking this ship, I was being attacked by the two turrets. Oh, some cargo, interesting. Interesting that NPCs are holding some some cargo. All right. Also, I have to uh, to brag in the chat. Lol, I boarded an NPC staffer. Actually, I should say Starfair. I know my pronunciation is not always so good, so sorry about this, guys. And, well, I know exactly where to go in the Starfire because I like to fly this ship, so I know exactly where to go to the cockpit. Is there going to be an NPC flying this ship? We are going to find out. Yes, there is an NPC. Well, <laughs> all right, hey, get out of here. <laughs> Nice little armor, by the way. What the hell? How come I got a crime stat? What is going on? This is supposed to be a wanted NPC. Why do I have a crime stat for killing a criminal? This is BS, as Chris Robert would say. Now, very interesting. Uh, it seems that the, the radar is going a bit wild, and I got a little bit of damage. I guess I did some damage to that staff error when I was flying it. Well, that's okay. So let's look to see if we can go to any of these places around. Hmm. First, we're gonna fly this ship first, and gonna use the um, we're gonna use the quantum travel to try to go to any of these destinations. I will probably go to Trams and Mayor because it's one of the best places over there if you want to do some trade. And we're gonna do some trade, guys, because this is a Starfire. It's got 296 SCU of cargo capacity. So it is a really great trader ship. You would ask some of the top traders in the verse, like Jack Axon or Segalian, which uh, you should check his his, uh, his, uh, 
his um, his Twitch by channel, by the way, is pretty awesome. Uh, what he does. Uh, so if you watch these guys, they actually do like to fly a starfire. It's quite effective. Uh, it can, it has a lot of cotton fuel, so you can really use that uh, for a long time without having to refuel at rest stops. So it's a pretty decent ship, not just for you know it's what it's going to do in the future, which is going to be selling. Uh, fuel refining and selling fuel in the future but also uh, a pretty decent ship for trading right now in the future there are going to be more you no know, you know, better options there's already the caterpillar which is much better probably the whole b is going to be uh, the best ship for the money regarding trading but it's not going to be available for a while uh, but so that's why at this moment the staff air is probably uh, one of the best options if you want to trade. So let's go to Trime and Mayor's Mining, which is on the other side of ceiling. So let's make sure we are targeting the right thing over there. Where is it? All right, here we go. So we are engaging our little uh, content driver. And you can see my Hornet is... Uh, my Hornet is having S with this Starfire. It is... Um, doing things and shaking uh, in the back. This looks a little bit ridiculous, but it's also fun. It's also fun. So that's how I boarded this staff area, guys. I just rammed the staff area, opened the Hornet, left the Hornet, and ended up uh, on that, you know, back ramp. So a very interesting technique, very pirate-like. I, I like that very much. This is how I believe uh, boarding should be done, how a, a one-man pirate should be able to board a larger ship you just ram it <laughs> and try to enter it like that fun times fun times so i i believe it's an exploit i believe that in the future we won't be able to do that uh, but right now that with the current patch 3.5 this is how it works so yeah so it looks like that NPC corpse, I would call it, is still out there. <laughs> it doesn't disappear, which seems to be an improvement in the game. There seems to be a little bit more of uh, persistence, and uh, I really like that. So here we go, guys, the magics of video editing. We are now about to arrive at Triumphs and Mayor. I will try to do a nice little landing. I'm still trying to, I'm still learning how to land in the in the game right now with the new flight model it's not as easy as it used to be it's a little bit trickier you need to use the space brakes now uh, or uh, you need to you to change different flight modes uh, I, I, i'm having a mix of, of decoupled and also um, regular regular flight without the speed limiter hmm but yeah it's uh it's quite a different experience, and I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I feel that like I'm a little bit more in control uh, of the ship, but at the same time, I find the approach challenging because uh, it's hard to keep a stable speed until you know we have to decrease speed and finally land. So I'm I'm trying to get hold of, of this new flight model and then learning how to do this, and uh, I, I like it that it's it's more complicated and requires more skills. Than, it, than we used to, uh, than it used to do before. So that that's, in my opinion, it's uh, it's an improvement. Some people would disagree, and that's fine. And please, you know, if you disagree, please be my guest. Please tell me in the comments down below. Uh, not only it's a good opportunity for us to have you know a friendly little chat in the comments, but it will also give you an opportunity to take part of the giveaway, and that is also great. So, trams and mayors mining. Here we go. The thing is, this is PDU. This is the L patch. It's not the M patch that was released today, and, and it's broken, so I, I can't play it. Uh, this is the L patch. I I still don't know. Well, actually, I, I know because I'm doing the voiceovers after. But by the time I was doing that, I didn't know if trade was actually implemented, if we could actually use the trade consoles to, I don't know, to do some trading. Or can we do that with a stolen ship? Uh, that is also something that I, I don't know. So we're going to figure it out. I really hope that we can, you know, in the future. So. Here we go. And hey, look at that. A beautiful little landing. A beautiful landing. It seems that the, the corpse is still there. I still have uh, my gun drawn. Because I know that there are still some... NPC crews out there in the turrets, but I think that they are going to stay in the turrets. Because they're NPCs that don't have subsumption, 
They don't have the ability to defend the ship in case there's an incursion, which I really hope that they are going to be able to do in the future. Okay, what do we have here? Consumer goods. Uh, well, maybe this is not going to be very worthy. Uh, let's open the... Eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's locked. All right, well, I guess I'm not the captain of the ship. And as a result, I don't have access to the command of that door. So let's see if I can get to the cockpit and see if I can unlock the ship. Ah, oh, that ladder again. God. So let's get into our little cockpit there. And the corpse is still here. I believe that this is going to be annoying because I think that some of the comments are... Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. How come I'm still moving? Oh, and maybe I need to press I. There you go. I pressed I and the engines are shut down. Okay. Yeah, so here we have power off and flight ready. And this is where we should have open cockpit, open door and so on. Yeah, it's on the other side. It's hidden under that corpse and unfortunately... Unfortunately, I would not be able to have access to the door. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. That means I would not be able to trade because you're going to see... I'm going to exit that ship. I, I know how to leave that ship. Let's let's see first if I can uh, open these doors with the co-pilot seats. Do I have access to that? Let's see. What kind of functionalities do we have here? Throttle. Power off. What else do we have? Not much, actually. Actually, not much. Being a co-pilot is quite boring. Well, that's going to be all then. Hmm. It's okay. Let's exit the ship and let's see if, in theory, I can trade. So here we go. Uh, and let's have a look at that. And no, the game doesn't recognize that I was the pilot of that ship. I can't do anything with it. So it doesn't work. Uh, by the way, so how I exited the ship, I actually uh, actually left the ship the same way I entered the ship. And then I jumped down to the ground. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, how to see how this ship was stolen. I'm sorry I couldn't try the, the latest patch, the, the M patch. It's it's totally broken. Every time I try to enter the verse, I get a crash, so it's not going to work. Uh, as always, guys, if you like this content, you want to see daily Star Citizen content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please, uh, you know, give a little like or a comment. That's really helping the channel out. As again, this is the Eradicator, and I am signing out.